Hey guys, welcome back to our VCP 6.5 ICM hands-on training. This is lab 11 into our series. In this lab, we'll go ahead and work with VMware's template and we'll go ahead and do the some of the clones or generally referred as simply as cloning. Uh, in this lab, we'll go ahead and explore a few important concepts. So this is the objective for this lab. We'll go ahead and create some template. At the same time, we will work with some of the customization specification policies. Why do we really need a template? Sometime, uh, let's say you have to do a MOS kind of a deployment where you want to start your VM with a certain kind of information. Probably you have some special packages installed or some of the security requirements. So generally people will go ahead and do one time install and they do make a copy of that VM and using that VM they can go ahead and start deploying. Usually a lot of people call that as a golden VM, base VM. So we'll go ahead and create a VM and from that VM we will go ahead and create a template and going forward we will make use of that template to deploy the VMs that way we are getting that base image or golden image or the necessary package that we need in every VM. We will go ahead and explore the concept of the customization. When we go ahead and make a clone there are certain properties when we make a clone or when we deploy a VM from that template we want to have those being chain. Uh, one of the simplest thing would be the security ID or maybe you want to have when the VM boots up you want to have the v VM get an IP address from a DHCP server. So these will be some of the things we'll go ahead and explore and take a look in our customization specification. Then we'll go ahead and uh, deploy a new VM using the template that we are going to create. Then we'll go ahead in the same time go ahead and explore and take a look at the VMware's content library Think of as a content library is a place where you can hold a lot of things. So you can go ahead and hold your templates. You can go ahead and hold your ISO files, OVA, OVF. So we'll go ahead and see how we can go ahead and create a content library. Then we'll go ahead and work with the content library. Last not the least, we'll go ahead and take a look at the cloning. So let's jump onto our hands-on and we'll go ahead and explore some of these concepts. So I have logged on to our VMware vSphere Feb client. We are on the home page right now. So to work with the virtual machine, uh, we can definitely uh, go to the VMs and template. So let's go ahead and click on the VM and templates. And within the VM and templates on the left hand side, let's go ahead and expand our data center. Within data center, uh, we have a couple folders, uh, one by name dev VMs. We have another folder by name my templates. Uh, there is uh, the me and my templates folder is currently empty. In this case, uh, for the template creation, we will be making use of our VM four so creating a template is very uh, easy so in this case let's say the vm4 is the one that we will be using as a base image or as a golden image going forward for our rest of the vm so i went and installed everything whatever is needed now just let's go ahead and simply power off this vm so go right click and you can gracefully do a shutdown i'll just go ahead and do a power off so now let's go ahead and power off the vm and once your VM is powered off now, just simply right click again on your VM. And on this menu, there are a couple of options and one of the option being says templates. Within this template uh, option, there are two options. One says convert to template and export OVF template. So in this case, we are interested in making this VM as our template. And later on, we will be making use of this template to go ahead and start deploying rest of our VMs into the environment. Creating a template is very simple. Just simply go ahead and click on convert to template. Now we are being asked, okay, hey, do you really want to convert the virtual machine VM4 to a template? And if that's what we need, we can go ahead and simply go ahead and hit yes. And as you can see, the template conversion uh, was done. And right now, if you take a look, the icon of our VM was changed instead of these three boxes. Now we have a different icon. This icon kind of really indicates, okay, hey, now this VM4 is not a VM anymore, it's a template. So now let's go ahead and do one thing. We will go ahead and move uh, this template from the VM folder to our template folder. So you can go ahead and simply do a drag and drop, or again, you can use a uh, move function. Now this is the VM4. Now let's go ahead and do the, use the rename functionality to rename this template and let's call it probably my template. I'll call it my VM template and let's simply go ahead and click OK. So what we just did, we had a VM4 that was running. We went ahead and powered off and we converted that VM as a template. Now going forward, we will be using this template to deploy the rest of our virtual machine. 